I learned how to swim pretty early. I watched like, not like kind of like a children's movie where like a character almost drowned. And as a child, I was just like, I remember going to my parent and saying, parent, why have you never taught me how to swim? And they looked at me and they were like, do you want to swim? And it's like, that's besides the point. It doesn't matter whether I want to swim. Why have you not taught me how to swim? Because I could be screwed. There is a critical vulnerability in my operating system. I do not know how to swim. Teach me how to swim. Rectify this issue. And they taught me how to swim. Be like 100% real with me. It could be like when you were like a kid. Have you ever just like taken a bite out of no, styrofoam? No, never in my life. I've done it twice, just to make sure. <laughs> I did it once and I was like, that was a terrible idea. I might have then, bitten into it. <clears throat> you know, then, kind of like, mm, 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 you know, mm, kind of like. No, no, I don't, I don't like chew on it. It was just like, I bet you this would be nice to bite into. So I bit into it. I was like, nope, that was not a good idea. And then the next day, with the same piece of like styrofoam like that, with a bite mark out of it, right? I bit into the other side just to make sure. And I was like, yeah, that was a bad idea. You always, you always double. What are your opinions on Doom 1, Doom 2, and Final Doom? I played a lot of Doom 2 as a kid. Want some lore? You want some like actual lore? I loved Doom 2 as a kid. I played like a lot of it as a kid. When I was a kid, I had a very, very high fever that I had to be hospitalized for. I started hallucinating. It was like a 103, 104 fever, like a 104 fever. And when you get a fever that high, you actually start to hallucinate. And I was hallucinating that there was a, there was a desktop computer that was running Doom. And it, like, I heard the sound effect and the BGM of Doom in the background playing. So, so my family that was taking care of me, I was just a kid. I think I was like... I don't remember how old I was. I think it was like six or seven. No, no, no. Eight, nine, something like that. Whatever. And then like while I had the fever in bed, I was like, turn off the computer. Turn off the computer. It's too loud. It's too loud. I can't play Doom right now. Turn off the computer. And then I remember the, the family members that were taking care of me were like, the, the computer's not on. There's not on. But I was like hallucinating it because the fever was so high. And because of that, I never played another Doom game, game ever again. I mean, this is when I was really young. I read, a, I read, I read about like this Cerisa, right? in a book and I think I was like seven or eight and then I I went into my backyard and then I tied it what what type of wood was it it was like leftover like you know you know like inside your house sometimes you have like like a panel like at the top and at the bottom of your wall where like it's like wood that runs along it so it's not just like it's not just wall and then floor or wall and then ceiling it's like it's like trim or molding right and it's typically made out of like plywood wood cheap wood right we had a bunch of leftover that in my backyard from whatever like i don't even remember but we had a bunch of that and then i remember notching i put like a notch into like two of them and then i tied them together and then i duct tape over the over the over the twine and then so it was about it was probably about like 10 feet long right and then at the end of it at the end of it i i took i took the i took the kitchen knife <laughs> I took the kitchen knife from from our kitchen and then I tied it to the end of it and then I was like I was like stabbing like a stump in my backyard and then I and then the authorities came home from work and they saw me doing that oh man that was a paddling right there that was a paddling because I ruined that knife so they had to buy a new one the authorities they had to buy a new knife because it's like you just like ruined an expensive kitchen knife Okay, like I had to do a bit of engineering, right? Because I did the notch method, but it would still like pivot on that one notch. So I like undid it and then like I added a bit more overlap and then I did a double notch, right? Double notch and then it was like tied in two places and then it was like, it was sturdy enough for me to like do the stabby stabby, right? But I remember like as a seven year old child, I was just like, oh, it's not like sturdy enough. Like how could I make it more sturdy so that I could use it the way that a spear is meant to be used? So I did the, I did the double notch. Seven-year-old engineering. I also, <laughs> I, I also tried. I had a super soaker and I tried to make a flamethrower out of my super soaker by filling it with like tiki tiki lantern fluid, and then I I hot glue gunned a toothpick to the end of the barrel, and then I and then I stuck a candle on the toothpick, and then I lit. The tooth, I lit the candle and then my older sibling came out and it's like, what is that? And it's like, oh, it's a flamethrower. And they're like, ah, I see. And then they threw it into the trash can and then I got another paddling. I promptly got another paddling. <laughs> How are you not dead? People don't believe me, but I got close enough to the point where like that candle was lit. The candle was like 100% lit and I was ready to go at it. I was ready to like pump the sucker and then just like squirt and see if it worked. Listen, I'm not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. 
the backyard of my childhood had like a big concrete area and I wasn't about to like, I wasn't about to shoot it at a tree or anything like that. Did you ever have a rock phase? You seem like someone who would have enjoyed tumbling. Crystal growing, yes, yes, I did have a crystal growing phase. I did. I distinctly remember how much it stinks to grow crystals. Do you know what I'm talking about? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Like. If you've ever grown crystals, you know what I'm talking about because I use the most like common method to grow crystals, right? Axel, we have to cook. My brother, the one that's like completely jacked, he's a younger brother and I remember, <laughs> I wonder if he knows this. I never really brought it up, but I used to, I used to, when I finished growing crystals, I would like hide them in our backyard and he would find them and collect them. And like, to my knowledge, when we were kids, he thought that like crystals just like popped up out of the ground. He thought it was like literally like an MMO where like crystals just like replenish themselves like on a timer or something. And he used to collect them. And I never told him that like, I would just like put them out there after I was done growing them. Luis Angeles, thank you very much for the super chat. Has a spear and weird gadgets, keeps rice buried in the wild for reasons, almost dies multiple times, made homemade flamethrower. Are you from Florida? I've never heard of this Florida of which you speak. But it sounds pretty based <laughs> from the way that you're described. If the average, if the average person from this Florida has a spear, keeps weird gadgets, keeps rice buried in the wild, almost dies multiple times and makes homemade flamethrowers, they sound like pretty based. Just gonna say. I remember exactly what situation made me do a 30 hour like FTL session. I was... I had two separate papers, right? <laughs> I had two separate papers and I like poured my heart and soul into both of them and I did them last minute. And then I turned them into the wrong pr like class. I turned in like X paper into Y class and I, per I turned in Y paper into X class and then like almost failed two classes. And then I emailed both professors. I emailed both professors asking them if I could please like swap please please like could you please like talk to the other professor like this is not me like trying to make up free time like i'm not lying to try to get an extra week turn in my term papers like please i'm begging you and then <laughs> and then i drank i drank half a handle of whiskey and then i just played ftl for 30 hours <laughs> what's actually funny is that it was for the same major and they were both upper division professors in that major and they knew each other they were friends so the, both of those professors were like actually friends on top on speaking terms so they just emailed each other and they're like hey dave did this idiot like send you a like a term paper for like x and he's like oh yeah the idiot did do that i got yours <laughs> and then they just swapped and then they yeah but that was just like I might fail two upper division classes in one semester. Get a load of this in here. <laughs> GM Lemmy, thank you very much for the super chat. My very first week in the US for college, there was a hurricane or tornado alert and everyone ho went home or something. And all I could think of, uh, where do I go? What do I do when the wind is trying to kill me? I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell you a story about a time that I, in my college years, the place where I was living got hit with a hurricane. It got hit by a hurricane. And I had two, I had roommates and they were freaking out. They, they stocked up on supplies. They were like hunkered down. They were expecting the power to go out. All that stuff, right? They were just like hunkered down in our little apartment and they were like ready to go go like the, the distance, right? The hurricane came. It was, it was actually pretty bad. It was like actually pretty scary. And then the exact location of where we lived fell into the eye of the hurricane. And then we were like, is it over? And then one of my roommates was like, no, this is just the eye of the storm. It's gonna, it's gonna, this is about the halfway point. It's gonna, it's gonna get crazy again. This is about ha the halfway point. This is where you're going to realize that I'm actually more similar to Axel than you think I am. You would think that like, I think it's just like a bunch of hard years that have made me a little bit wiser, but this is where you're going to realize that like, I'm actually closer to Axel than you think I am. When I was younger, I, I put on my shoes. I put on a jacket. I left my apartment and I went to the local bar <laughs> and I sat down at the bar and there was like, it's, it was usually like bumping. There's usually like a lot of people at that bar, but there's only like including the, the workers, including the staff, about six people there. So I went to the bar and then I had a, I had a pint having good, having a good chat with the other people there, having a good chat with the bartender who I was like pretty close friends with. We were just drinking and having a good time. And then the hurricane hit again. <laughs> the hurricane hit again. And then I was stuck in that bar for the rest of the, for about 30 hours, I was stuck at the bar like I couldn't go back home. It was cool. It was fine. They had food. Like the bartender was really cool. Like we just we just hunkered down and we like I was not in danger. It was fine. And then I went back home after the storm ended. I went back home and my roommates were so angry at me. I think I like to think that I'm a pretty good roommate. I'm not too loud. 
I like to think that I'm a pretty good roommate. They never really complained about me. That was the one time where they were just so mad at me. I thought they were going to punch me. Like both of them were yelling at me. Like I, I thought I was going to get like punched by both of them. Like they were so mad. They were like, what the f what the F were you thinking? <laughs> we thought you died. We thought we were going to have to like call the cops and then call your parents and tell them that you're dead. You walked into a hurricane and then you died. What were you thinking? <laughs> They were so mad. <laughs> and I was just like, oh yeah, sorry mates. Just thought I'd get like a cheeky pint. Thought it would just be a little hee hee ha ha, you know? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to troll them. I didn't, I didn't mean to make them worry. It's just, I got bored. And in our, in our like hurricane prep, we forgot to get booze. And I was just like, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like some beer right now. And we didn't get any on the run up to the, to the to the hurricane. So it's just like, maybe I'll just get like a quick beer and then come back. Back when I was at the academy, I lived in an apartment in kind of like a shifty neighborhood, but I used to just go up onto the roof. There was like a ladder that would go up onto the roof that had roof access. Okay, suspicious. And I, I would cook on the roof sometimes. <laughs> like I had like camp gear, right? And then like the kitchen was just like disgusting because I had roommates that were like not the cleanest. And then I had camp gear. So like if I was just making like ramen like a quick meal i would just go up on the roof with my camp stove and just cook up there right what was the most yolo thing you've ever done in your life i pulled a forest gump on a bicycle i just decided that i didn't want to do what i was doing anymore and then i got on a bicycle and i strapped camping gear to it and then i just left and then i just bicycled around for like a long time like over four thousand miles i was just like bicycling around i did that i did that with the expectation with the expectation that I would lose my job. And then I came back home look, looking, like not only looking, but actually from being a homeless person for X amount of time. And then I shaved and then I, and then I went back to work and they gave me back my job because they couldn't find someone to replace me. <laughs> I came back with the expectation that they would have already replaced me and I had to find a new job, but I checked anyways. And they're like, oh, thank God, please come back. And then I, and then I went back.